I'm Dr. Lana Staley, and I'm starting our second segment in our series on Bounce Be Transformed with Chat with Women. So in this, I'm going to start talking about how Bounce came into being. So after doing the research on what was new in psychology, what I really discovered was there's a lot of new brain research on how the brain works. We always used to have the saying that people don't use all of our brain power, we only use 60%. We use every single little neuron. And the other thing that is very cool, we can keep building neurons and neural pathways well into our 80s if we think new thoughts, have new experiences, and create opportunities that we haven't had before for others. So that it's not just about us. We have to think new thoughts to have the brain expand. So using what I had learned from 40 years of counseling, along with what was new in the fMRI research, I decided before I wrote the book, I should practice this on somebody. So I asked eight of my closest friends if they would let me experiment a little bit on them. So I took the things I had learned, like how the brain works, and we started coming up with things they would do that they hadn't done before, ways they would start expressing themselves, experiences they would start creating. And so each time we had sort of an idea of something new they would do. And over the course of the year, um, we went through this, but we got having so much fun. And people were seeing all these changes that were happening to us. Husbands said we were happier, we were busier, we were having more, more good times. And other people are saying, hey, what are you guys on? But the, what we were on was our own endorphins. So we decided to put together a little presentation. And we were expecting 20 or 30 women. We had 84 women show up. We decided this was a grassroots movement, that we didn't need heavy-duty introspection, we didn't need problem-solving, we needed joy and meaning, and that as we turn 50s and 60s, it can be the best time in our life. It's really an opportunity to take what you've learned and move it forward. So we put together this program that we call Bounce Circles, which are groups of 8 to 10 women, and they met together on I think it was once a month um, for six months. We did six segments. And it's not therapy. These are learning groups. And they're learning about yourself. They're learning about other people. They, they're learning how to be your personal best and get the most out of your life. Because what's really important, especially at 50, 60, and 70, if we don't reinvent ourselves, we're going to go downhill. So Madonna is not the only one who can reinvent herself. We all can. And I can tell you, if I had just kept doing what I was doing at 60, I don't think I would be as happy and as excited as I am at 64. I'm going to China in a few weeks. I'm going to London to talk about another nonprofit we do. You know, I'm getting to do this work with Chat with Women. All these wonderful things are happening. And it's not just to me. The original eight women, all their lives have changed. And I think by now we've had probably 500 women who've been involved and touched by bounce in one way or another. And it has worked. It has changed their lives. It's not agonizing. It's not painful. It's really a joyful process that you share with other women to find out how you're going to be your personal best and how you're going to create endorphins and steroids. Because what we know is that if you create steroids, that's stress. If you create endorphins, that's joy. And we can manufacture them. What we think determines how we feel. And how we feel determines what we do. So it's by thinking that we can change our feelings. And Bounce helps us do that. So in Bounce, we look at how you find joy because Endorphins and steroids are neurochemicals. They transmit down our little neurons. Neurons are little uh, groups of cells that transmit information from the brain. And down these little neural pathways. So every time we think a negative thought that goes down a little neural pathway, phew, if we think positive thoughts, endorphins, 
that same neural pathway can take us somewhere up or somewhere down. And it's the brain that sends signals to the rest of the body as to whether you're going to get adrenaline and stress hormones or whether you're going to get endorphins. So in our next segment, what I'm going to talk to you about is steroids and endorphins and what they do for you and what the core feelings are that bring those steroids or endorphins into front and center in our lives. So we'll be with Chat with Women, and next time we'll be talking about steroids and endorphins.